Peace, everybody. Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. And this is the third of a series um, that I'm doing just today. Strictly talking about mindset, wealth, things like that. So I'm going to get right into it. I um, learned something today and I wanted to bring it out. Um, not today, but I've learned it. And it's called, uh, and, and I got it from a book, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, Mastering the Inner uh, Game of Wealth by T. Harv Ecker. It's an excellent book. I strongly suggest that you not only read it a million times, but read it a million and one times. Because when millionaires tell you to read something, um, if they have something that you want, you follow them. It's just that simple. If someone that has what you want, you figure out why they think that way. You figure out why they do that. And you'll recognize that there's something different going on. It's not jiving in comparison to what you've been doing. So in order to impress that, self, that on you, you have to think like them. You have to see them. You have to study them. You have to model yourself into a certain extent. Don't mimic them. Don't be them. Be your own self. But it's best to look at what they do. Pay attention. I was told to look at this book, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, and that's what I did. And with that, uh, something that came up uh, within the book, and it reminded me of something that's it's something minor that took place in my life, and it's talking about roots um, is the key. So having a foundation. A strong and steady foundation and what he's seen is that um, when you have this foundation it's what not what is seen it's what's not seen is what your future is about is what you should really put emphasis on not what you see you know we see that there are bills coming in every day some people that uh, are having financial woes we see that you know um, the time we're not able to travel as much we see that we have to work on a regular basis not doing what we really want to do our dreams our desires we see that but with the changing with that certain grind that's going on that mental um, change I call it mental massaging when you're constantly mentally massaging yourself with positive with right guided information you start to see a change that's the within. That's, not, that's the thing that you don't see. Don't worry about what you see. We understand that. That's there. But now let's talk about what you don't see. And he gave an example about the roots. And so it, it reminded me of a situation and it's something really minor. I um, love this particular plant and it just grows like a vine. I, I've always loved this plant. So one day um, someone gave me just a really small piece of it and I forgot it. I left this piece in my bag for a week. It just sat in my bag. No water, no anything. It wasn't what I seen in the plant. It looked dingy. You know, it was all scrolling with up. But what I didn't see is what I knew I needed to help bring this, this leaf, literally leaf in the stem back to life. And I know because I've had experiences when, and I've mentioned before that I'm a bundle of experiences. And being that I've experienced this plant before, I know that this particular plant can grow by just sitting in water. And it'll eventually start developing itself and bringing itself back to life. So as it sat in my bag for a week, just starving, a poor little plant, I put it in a glass of water and I left it and I let it sit there, dropped a little food in there. Now the plant is about three or four feet, five feet long. And it has just so many other stems to it and it just leaves to it and it's becoming a beautiful thing. And it just shows that um, it's not what you see. It's just another example of not what you see that causes the effect of growth. This is what we want to do is we want to effectively erase. We want to go through that washing machine. We want to change that. All of those things that we have been taught when we were children, what we seen when we were children, what we heard, you know, money doesn't grow on trees, you know, and giving the impression that having financial wealth is a bad thing. No, it's what the people did with the finances. That was the bad thing. But there's nothing wrong with being wealthy. I don't have, I don't know any religion or belief or whatever that tells you that being financially secure is a bad thing. But it will discuss if you do bad things with those finances and those treasures and things like that. So make the changes. Recognize, and there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about that, that comes out of this book that uh, he put. And the letters are P. Equals, I mean, P goes to T, which means programming, um, mental programming. Programming goes to T, which is thoughts, thoughts in your mind, which leads to 
um, uh, uh, fear, I mean, uh, right, which leads to fear, you know, um, oh, I'm sorry, it, it's, it's P, which is programming, which leads to a T, which is thoughts, which leads, thoughts leads to uh, feelings, I'm sorry, not fear, which is the F, which leads to feelings, which in turn leads to action, which equals out a result. That's all we have to do. Change your way of thinking. And then you can go through the process. P-T-F-A equals R. Results. That's what we want. Results. Time some more Conversation Corner. Hit me up. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter. Go to my website. Everything you need to know. Talk to me. Let's go. Conversation Corner.